Hey, a quick little video on the stainless steel welding. Uh, so if you saw in the previous one, I had lots of bumps and stuff, and now I have none. So what I did was I used the TIG torch and put some lines down, and the I started off with the, the ones that went all the way from the seam, and uh, that made a difference, but then I went back and went over the ends with uh, like a one-third just because it's, you know, that's where the most amount of the shrinkage has to happen. And that did a very good job. So now, like this one here was the worst. That was sticking up six millimeters. And now it is not sticking up whatsoever because it's, it's probably shrunk on there so much. So I don't even know if I can get these bolts out after. I'm not gonna bother trying. Um, yeah, I found uh, doing it this method, uh, you have to liquefy the stainless steel if you just try and use a TIG torch and you know, go over it without liquefying it. It really has hardly any impact on it. So you'll see that there is a uh, bead marks on there. And uh, yeah, it seemed to work really well. You can probably tell, yeah, actually from this angle, you can see how much it shrunk in because like this was straight and you can see right there how much it's you know, being pushed in. And that is, uh, Similar, if I can focus on all of them. This one as well was pretty bad. Same deal, you can see where it uh, shrunk in a bunch. But yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, happy to get that thing done. Let me see if this will close. Oh, also I moved the uh, the notches over and now I don't smack my uh, head on the top of that thing, which is nice. And this is the true test. Oh, actually I got a cord in there, so that's not even gonna work. But yeah, you get the point. Uh, yeah, that's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Finish it off with a wire wheel and flap wheel and that finish is good enough for me.